don't stop. Hi Fancy Beauty Symbols, welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Gina coming through with an inspired Z Gallery wall art. And I'm going to use these bowls that I picked up from Dollar Tree. I was trying to find those plates where everyone was doing this type of inspiration, but I couldn't find them. So I said, you know what, let's see what it looks like with the bowls. And I've had these for quite some time, almost a year to be exact, and I'm just now getting to the video. But nevertheless, here we are. And I am just now going through trying to figure out if I'm going to place them face down or if I'm going to face them straight up. And so that is what you're going to see me doing right now. And I ended up going with them face down, the bigger ones and the smaller ones as well. I wanted to make this one a bigger one, but I couldn't find any more bowls the big ones or the small ones online or in any of the stores that are near me. So if you guys know uh, of any Dollar Tree stores that may have these bowls that may be in the Atlanta area, let me know so I can go ahead and get over there and pick some up because I would like to make this a bigger size, like another foam board bigger like this. So we're just going to go ahead and make sure we get everything the way we want it to be set up. You can do this different ways so you don't have to do it the way that I'm doing mine. This is just the way it seems to work and made the bowls more cohesively together if that makes sense. So that's why I chose the way that I did. So as you can see here, I'm just flipping everything back over and I made a point to make sure I left those tags on so that they could have the same flow. So I wanted the tags to be my guide, so to speak. All right, so now we have everything placed the way we want it to be placed. Oh, and guys, I did go ahead and spray paint that foam board. You don't have to do that if you don't want to, but there was some spacing and I couldn't get rid of it the way that the bowls are made. So that's why I opted to spray paint it. And with that spray paint, it's going to make it ridge up. So anyway, we're going through and I'm just placing the glue on to the areas that need glue that's the best way that I can explain this portion of it and then just hold down a little bit of pressure on that bowl just to make certain that everything adheres properly to that foam board and then yeah we're here now I'm almost done and this was super fun it was really relaxing and just a nice little project you can do on the weekend or whatever days you have off and just to you know get some things some thoughts and and everything like that that goes with doing DIYs I love doing them because it gives me a chance to relax it gives me a chance to just pull back from everyday life you know what I mean? And so, yeah, I enjoy doing these DIYs. If you have any suggestions, you know, shoot those through and I'll see what I can work out. So I've got everything done and I'm going ahead and pull off those price tags. And they're super easy to pull off so you don't have to worry about messing up your project. I would suggest putting gloves on just so you don't have the fingerprints on here. So just a tidbit for you guys if you try this project. All right, so now it's time to put the smaller bowls in place. And some of the tags I took off and some of them I left on. Just, it was random. So 
I didn't need too much of a guide on these because I knew how I wanted those to lay. Now, I will give you a tip on these as well. The glue has to go on just the edges of those corners. That's all you need to hold this down. And you should be good to go. So yeah guys, this is pretty much the end of everything right here. And just remember to kind of eyeball where your glue needs to go. That way you won't over glue your project. So I will see you guys in the next video. Please give your girls some likes, some comments, and share the videos wherever you share videos. And I will see you in the next video. And stay fancy.